democracy in the United States. Is it going to make it? Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you um, haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Listen, I think it's a fair question to ask. Um, things are getting ripped apart over here. We're trying, you know, democracy is slow and painful and methodical, and um, anarchy isn't. What's been gone, going on over here has been compared to nothing uh, as bad since the Civil War. So it's serious business, and uh, it pains me. So let's do a reading and let's ask the question, will democracy in the United States survive in the long term? So this is the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. This is U.S. Game Systems. And I love these cards. They're, they're called Radiant because the colors in them, you'll see, they actually kind of radiate from the center out and they're brilliant colors. So that's the deal. They, it's the same uh, art uh, of the regular Rider Waite cards, but they're colored a little differently uh, in this case. So um, I'll show you the cards. They're really nice. I mean, they're the traditional um, symbolism that you expect. Just the coloring is uh, a little or a, a lot more nuanced, as a matter of fact, with this radiant um, situation where the color just kind of emanates out from the center. This is a good one to look at for that. I mean, you can see that it's a lighter color here and it just radiates out and all the colors are very vibrant, vibrant and beautiful. So love the cards. Hopefully you do too. I think they show up really well on the camera. And I just do this little uh, situation of spreading the cards out like this uh, so that you can get a chance to look at them. Most people like to see what all the cards look like. And uh, if you're working with someone, it's maybe a good idea to let them uh, work with the cards this way. Just kind of get their energy uh, into the cards. And, uh, and then you can start uh, deciding what they mean for them. So I think it's a fair question. I mean, things here aren't looking good to most of us. I mean, there's a small... I don't say a small minority, there's a minority that um, is strong and vocal and kind of crazy, actually. And uh, those people, you know, if you think that that bad doesn't win, you're just wrong. Bad, bad wins a lot. Evil wins a lot. And, um, and good people suffer all the time. You do all the right things. You may think so in your own life. You know, you feel like, well, I've done everything right. And why do these bad things keep happening to me? You want to think that there's a lesson in there that we have to learn. I mean, that's what I want to think, that these evil folks who just seem to keep on keeping on and um, have no regard for the truth, actually, don't care about truth. I mean, we see the... the um, interviews that uh, reporters are doing. They go into these insane rallies, interview the folks, and they say, oh, you know, why do you think this is happening? Just because they believe it. They don't have anything to back it up, and they don't look for anything to back up their crazy beliefs. So will democracy survive in the long run? You know, it may be painful for a while, but I want to know, is democracy going to be here beyond me? Um, is democracy going to be here once I'm not here? You know, that's not that long for now, actually. So, democracy. Look at that. Let's try that again and see if we can get a nicer spread. So, democracy. Will democracy in the United States... Look at that. Will democracy in the United States survive? Wow. It's messy. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will democracy in the United States survive? That's what I want to know, honestly. Signifier card for that is the Empress. Well, if I didn't pull one more card, this is yes. 
So the Empress is kind of what this represents the United States to me. This is uh, justice and rules and good and fruitful. And look at this, these, the lush forest behind here. The Empress is the strength. Uh, that uh, you would hope for uh, when you um, are about to embark on an issue. What's the challenge to this? Will democracy in the United States survive in the long run? Look at that. It's a great big pinnacle of value. So this is telling me that there is value in uh, democracy. Um, it's a challenge, though, to the empress. So how is the value of democracy a challenge to the empress? Maybe it's proving that value. The base of this reading, then, is the uh, Two of Pentacles. You know, the Two of Pentacles is, is balancing a thing, is uh, trying to find out, uh, is it going to work this way? Is it going to work this way? How do I keep this going up in the air? And that's kind of what democracy is. It's it's a back and forth. It's a give and a take. And uh, 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 dictatorship, uh, autocracy um, is not. You know, it's, it's going to be this way, and this is the way it's going to be. I mean, look at how China's run. They were welding people into their homes when uh, COVID hit in the very beginning to make them stay put. They weren't uh, reasoning with them like we're doing here in the United States. Please take the vaccine. Please believe the science. Let me show you how it, it, it really works. No, um, but that's what democracy is. The past of this reading is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, you know, this woman is, is just lush with, with value. She's a wash in the worth of all the bounty that she possesses. And um, man, if that's not the United States, I don't know what is. And the sky of this reading is justice. Okay, that's what we want to. That's what we want. You know, we want to shoot for justice, for uh, swords for me are truth and justice and honor and rules and uh, the scales of justice are balanced. And so, yeah, the highest aim that we have to have is justice. And look at this. This is a lady justice. That's kind of what, how we refer to our Statue of Liberty. The uh, likely outcome of this right here is look at that the ten of pentacles so a happy family a wash in value this is uh sometimes referred to as a generational wealth and so we have to believe that our democracy is our generational wealth wow so far so good i'm going to finish this out with four more cards and it's a gamble because this is exactly what i wanted to hear this is telling me that democracy will survive so let's take the last four cards and just see what that story tells okay the last four cards, the self of this question, will democracy in the United States survive in the long term? Look at that. It's uh, the Three of Cups, it's justice, it's not justice, it's celebrations, it's uh, compassion, it's uh, the these uh, three uh, symbols getting together to to just that, celebrate their, their emotion. Uh, it's in the environment of what? What is that in the environment of right now? It's in the environment of a battle. The Nine of Swords is being embattled. Democracy is getting beat up, okay? We've got a plan. Um, we have to be methodical in how we go about challenging or, or defeating all these obstacles that are in our way because look how fruitful all these obstacles are. You know, they want to live. They want to, to, to keep going. But uh, here, democracy is taking a stand. So the, the challenge to that is this. The hopes and the fears for all of this then. The Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. And right now, that's kind of how we feel, those of us who are, are looking for the truth and the justice and the balance and the rules and the law. We feel like we're being left out in the cold. Um, and then the final outcome for all of that is strength. We just have to have strength. Man. This is fantastic. I've got to tell you, when I ask a question like this, I'm scared to death that the next card I pull is going to be something that's not what I want it to be. You know, I want this uh, to be a positive reading. And look, it is. I've got to tell you, that really makes me happy. That was a, a risk for me to ask that question. But uh, we started out, the question is, will democracy survive in the long run? And we get the Empress, fruitful, um, you know, just having all of everything that she needs to make something good uh, come out of this. Uh, but she's challenged. But what is she challenged by? She's challenged by value. She's challenged by a great big offer of uh, a pinnacle, the Ace of Pentacles. So she's challenged by... You know, just I may be recognizing the value that's that's in this democracy. Um, I'm almost teary. Uh, the base of this reading 
It's the two pinnacles, and we have to balance everything out. You know, we, that's what democracy is. It's finding out what you need, what I need, what's the best for the country. And sometimes what you need is more important than what I need. Sometimes what I need is more important than what you need. And we have to have a balance of what that is. The past of this reading is the uh, Nine of Pentacles, and look at her. You know, this for me is America. She's awash in everything that she needs. She's got plenty of bounty to to uh, make our lives uh, what they should be. And then in the sky, this reading is justice. I mean, that's what we want. We want justice. We don't want injustice. We want this to be something fair for everybody. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing was the most fantastic card of all. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is generational wealth. And if, if this country doesn't have generational wealth, it, you tell me what is generational wealth. I mean, we have bounty from sea to shining sea. Then we said, what's the self of that question? The actual self of that question is celebrations. You have to hang on. There are celebrations in the future. and But what what's it in the in the environment of? Couldn't be more, more correct. It's in the environment of all the embattlement that we have right now. And maybe these are growing pains. Maybe these are ugliness. You know, sometimes you have a, an ugly wound that has to be scraped out before it gets uh, starts to heal. And uh, the hopes and the fears of that, the fears for me are these five of pentacles being left out in the cold, you know, uh, losing our grip on, on, our, on our democracy. But the end card, the final outcome, how, how this is likely to, to end up is strength. That's what we have to have. We have to have our strength. We have to show our strength. And we have to believe that uh, our strength will, will pull us through. Man, that was a great reading. I'm so glad it came out like that. How about you? <laughs> I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.